What's happening, Soul Tribe? Antoha here. So I have another energy update that I feel is super, super important for you. Again, channeled it this morning. And basically is like, don't stop believing in yourself. There's a lot of times when you're making a shift in your reality and you wonder whether or not it's all in your head. You wonder whether or not like you can keep up that momentum you have all these other subconscious little messages that step in and they try to stop you from getting to the next level. One of the things that you really, really, really got to focus on is not letting go of your own momentum. So if you've been able to manifest something in the last week, that means you can manifest something right now. If you were able to make a shift in your reality that you know helped another person you know like you discovered something inside of yourself and you were able to help someone else help themselves through your experiences you can perpetually do that one of the things that you really just got to hold on to is that belief in yourself especially when we're going through like these these paradigm shifts these shifts that change how the rules of our universe work when we're going through these experiences it's vital for you to just be like okay I'm gonna keep putting effort into it. Even, even if I feel like nothing's happening, I'm gonna keep trying because your mind creates reality. So when you give up on something in your mind and you're just like, okay, I just can't make this happen, I can't achieve this, whatever your excuse is, you're creating thoughts, you're creating forms of matter that are saying, yeah, you cannot make this happen. Your thoughts create matter, all right? It's pretty simple. All right. And when you're when you're in this state of I perpetually believe in myself, I perpetually can attain the next thing, no matter how difficult it is, you're training matter through your thought to make your manifestation happen. A lot of times people are like, I want to make this manifestation happen. I'm going to put it out there and I'm just going to let it come to me and I'm not going to like put any extra work towards it. That's not the best way to manifest. You're perpetually manifesting whether, whether it's for the next car, your healing adventure, or even channeling with your guides. These are all manifestations. And if you're in this position, position where you're like, hey, I want to connect with my guides. I'm going to connect with my guides. I've been trying. I haven't been able to do it. Okay, I'm not going to give up on myself. I'm not going to even tell myself that maybe I, I'm not even capable of this. Everyone is capable of anything at any given moment in their life. They just have to train their consciousness to evolve past the framework that is limiting them from attaining that particular objective. For instance, when I wanted to start bending the sky and bending the weather, one of the main things that naturally came into my mind was like, maybe I just don't have the ability to make the sky rain okay maybe my grandmother does but i don't and it was through experiencing my training with her that she was like no just remember it's inside of you you just haven't learned how to do it yet it's inside of you you just need to not give up on yourself and understand that if you give up on yourself you give up on rain if you give up on yourself you give up on the clouds if you give up on yourself you give up on something so much more greater within you and that's been one of the drives that has really helped me open up higher levels of healing for my clients it's helped me open up higher levels of understanding where i can do things that seem like fantasiful or like sci-fi for a lot of people it's because in my mind's eye i can make anything happen regardless of in this moment right now i understand how to make that happen regardless of if in this moment right now you know, it seems like my goal is really far away. My goal is going to happen regardless because every day of my life, I'm focusing on that goal. Whether it's, you know, finding a solution for somebody or channeling a guide that I've never channeled. I'm always saying like, I can do this. It's only a matter of time of whether or not, I'm, I, I, whether or not it's gonna come to me sooner or later, right? But it's going to happen to me and I'm gonna continuously make an effort to get there. With every manifestation that I've ever had, that has been the main rule. What do I want? I put it out there. Can I attain it? Absolutely. How do I attain it? I'm just going to keep taking one step at a time. Days come in where I'm like, oh my God, am I actually going to have it? Is it actually going to get to the next level? 
And I'm just like, no, of course, it's going to get to the next level. This moment right now, this illusion that's trying to force me not to believe in myself is just my subconscious beliefs believing something alternate than my reality. And in that moment, I even tell my, my subconscious beliefs, like, I believe in you. Like, you know, you were programmed to believe that you can do X, Y, and Z, but I believe in us. And then when we believe in ourselves, we can make things happen. Things that are beyond the scope of natural reality for people who cannot perceive reality in the way that you can perceive it. You always have to cherish this over anything else. Your perception of reality is what's going to dictate whether or not you ascend or you descend. Okay, because people can ascend and descend at the same time. Just because you ascend in, let's say, uh, a short amount of time doesn't mean that every aspect of yourself ascends. There are versions of us that at certain times, you know, right now during quarantine, you might have been ascending in the forms of self-love, but you still haven't ascended in the, the forms of self-power. So your ascension is perpetual. Your ascension is not just going to one day click and just be there for you just kind of like no big deal right your ascension is always going to test you because even the gods and higher realities are perpetually learning so for you to even believe that in this in this reality right here you're just gonna hit the final peak and never have to worry about that again is is what's gonna actually make your goal harder to attain because it makes it feel like oh once i climb over ugh, this bar I have everything and everything's going to be gravy. But from there, you're gonna realize, oh, I'm still trying to manifest something new. Rather, you know, you were first trying to manifest a house, you get the house, oh, well, now I need a new car, right? Your manifest is going to be perpetual. If you're in the position of perpetually believing in yourself, you manifest faster and you manifest with more ease because you said, oh, okay, I need to get a house. Boof, got to the house. Okay, I need to get a car. I, I knew that I was able to get the house. Like while I was trying to get the house, I knew the house was mine, it was coming towards me. It was just a matter of my energy being in alignment with my manifest. Therefore, I can make this new car show up just as easily as I made that house show up. And of course, when you're going to be training yourself to believe in yourself, there's areas of yourself where you don't believe in yourself. And that's where you really need to pick up the game and kind of almost like self-coach yourself because you may be really good at manifesting material objects, a car, a job, a house, you know, a new TV, but you might be really shitty at manifesting a lover or friends or um, like a quality lifestyle for yourself where you can actually say like I'm fulfilled in everything that I do, right? So in those moments, like you need to look at what strengths you have in terms of your alchemy, your manifestation, your consciousness, and then find the, the areas that need to be like worked on, the things that you're, you're longing for. Because usually if you're really good at manifesting material objects, you're still looking for materializing a lover that is in resonance with you, right? So if you don't get yourself in this position of like, let's say you're manifesting for a lover and you're like, hey, oh my God, it is so hard. I've been trying for such a long time. I just, I don't think that person exists. Maybe I'm destined to like die alone, right? The moment you do that, you're not rooting for yourself. You're not saying that all possibility is possible within you because your mind has dictated that there, there's these hard set rules now in your reality that are gonna cause resistance for you to get there. If you keep a momentum of like, okay, it hasn't happened in the last couple of years, but it's going to happen real soon because that's what I've been generating. I believe in my alchemy. I believe in myself. I believe in my reality. And I believe the fact that I deserve this, right? Your belief is going to transform in different areas of your life to amplify your manifestation. So when you're in this position of constantly like just being in flow with your own belief and what you're capable of, and you never put a hard set rule on yourself saying like, I can't attain this one thing, I can't attain this other thing, you're going to see magic happen in your reality. This is one of the things that I do in my one-on-one -on -one coaching program with a lot of people. Some people come to me and they're like, hey, I've tried for the last 20 years to uh, tap into all of my psychic abilities and I just, I'm not, I'm just not psychic. And the first thing I tell them is, don't say that you're not psychic. Stop saying that. Like, what are you? Like, your objective 
is to get to being psychic and here you are telling yourself that you're not psychic are you like ignorant or are you stupid right and i don't normally tell people that but like i i think about it in my mind is like are you not looking at the energy that you're producing right now in your reality that's that's causing you that disbelief and in a in a in the same amount of breath that they're complaining about um their manifestation saying that they're not capable of 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 manifesting i i show them in like five minutes like okay let's play a quick game telepathy bam oh my god i can't believe that i actually saw all all the symbols or i picked up the numbers or whatever and in that moment i'm like see you are actually psychic you just won't allow yourself to believe in yourself to be psychic and when you start shifting these beliefs you really do see some crazy things happen i've done it with like even manifesting for other people like i've been like hey i know i'm powerful enough to manifest anything in my reality this person needs something very powerful to happen to them very soon so i'm going to help them manifest that and i've heard crazy stories where you know a person will leave my shop they come in and they're like hey i haven't had clients in the last like six months for my business and by the end of my session they get home and they have four clients that have just booked randomly and they haven't been able to get any work in the last six months right like that's because i believe enough in my knowledge in myself that i'm powerful enough to bend reality not only for myself but for other people like that's what i'm here to do and then i i'll be like okay in the middle of a session with someone this is what i'm capable of i've done this before i know what i i know my truth i know what i'm 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 here to make happen and i'm going to make it happen plain and simple you know and i i never ever ever question the extent of my reality even though it's natural to do so so when those thoughts come in you have to push them away and you have to choose yourself first because no one else is going to choose you first so i'm sending you all of my love thank you for mo so much for watching give this video a like if it really resonated share it with your friends as well and if you're looking to accelerate your ascension through one-on-one -on -one coaching with me to make your ascension reality just happen in the shortest amount of time possible check out the description below check out the description up top in my bio or send me a dm on instagram saying clarity call and we'll schedule you a free clarity consultation to see if you're a good fit so i'm sending you all of my love and i will see you in our next video